Our story began in 1991. Over time, the mortgage industry has experienced many changes, but our core values here at CIS have always remained the same. Character, integrity, and service. You don't need to be a mortgage expert to get a great financial plan. You just need to work with one. Our focus and dedication have allowed us to help thousands of families reach their dream of home ownership, whether it be refinancing your current home, buying a manufactured home, or purchasing investment property, we have a product for you. We invite you to find out more by visiting our website at cishomeloans.com or like us on Facebook. CIS Home Loans, mortgage loans made simple, equal housing lender. We're going to make a few public announcements and uh, then we're going to get right in the meeting. Okay, this time we're going to call our meeting to order. This will be our first official meeting for the new year, 21. And we're proud to get started with the city's business for 2021 and hope that 21 is a productive year for all of our folks in Hamilton. And we have a few public service announcements tonight we want to make. First one will be uh, concerning the uh, Love's um, truck stop and uh, venue that's being established at Fulton Bridge exit 14 and uh, along with Love's there will be an Arby's restaurant uh, inside and there will be a tire center and service center outside uh, and we're hoping that this is going to be the opening day. We'll keep you posted tentatively. It's January 14th. We've heard another date mentioned tonight, the 27th, but be aware that Love's is coming to Hamilton and it's it'll be here to stay and uh, it's gonna be big for our city. And we'll enjoy the uh, new food that Arby's provides. Tomorrow, Lacey's just off the court square here in Hamilton will have a trial run on uh, its first day of business and they'll be specializing in um, uh, sandwiches and pizza and they'll be on the one-way street that runs between the sports gallery and I believe the coffee buzz is the business on the opposite corner and that'll be on the street that runs just off the court square. Uh, Divine Family Wellness uh, had a grand opening yesterday in Hamilton. They're at 400 Bexar Avenue West and it's headed up by nurse practitioner Ashley Osborne and her staff. And if you've been south on um, the um, um, Military Street South You'll notice that our Domino's store is coming along real nicely. It can't be far away from their opening date. So uh, a lot of good things are happening to uh, help our citizens here in Hamilton uh, to have a better quality of life. And uh, while we're talking about uh, things to help our businesses, uh, Matt has been made aware of a special thing that uh, NACOG is sponsoring. Matt, I'm going to let you talk a little about that. Yeah, NACOG is uh, actually is going to be a free digital marketing workshop and it's going to be on uh, January the 14th uh, from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. at uh, Tom Big Big Electric. Um, of course, 3196 County Road 55, Hampton, Alabama. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact Heath King at uh, area code 256 the red 9 zero five one one that's h king at nacog.org basically it's just a free digital marketing workshop um, for local uh, businesses uh, basically it's uh, how to better use technology and social media and those type of things to better help um, local industry uh, well not industry more local businesses um, retail businesses in town um, up their sales and uh, I guess figure out a better, better way to um, market their business. Thank you, Matt. Uh, that's a two-hour meeting, mm -hmm. and I believe they've included the uh, 
businesses that may have been affected also in uh, our neighboring county, Winston. Right, in Winston County as well. Or Mayor and Winston. So. At what time does it start? Oh, 1.30. 1.30 to 3.30, is that at Tom Bigby. And that, that'll be an interesting meeting. Uh, I, I think NACOG's really putting a special effort in this, uh, and I'm proud to see that happen. Uh, just want our citizens also to remember mm -hmm. that the COVID virus has not gone away. The numbers are very high right at this time. Uh, they're expecting some new sparks from the holiday gatherings that have been held with families and friends. And so protect yourself and your family as best you can. The minute you qualify for the va uh, vaccine, I think you should consider the vaccine. Um, it's not gonna be for everybody, but it's gonna help people that are in the danger zones like uh, people that's become my age and older uh, might all be aware of it. Um, a lot of the young folks are coping pretty good with this virus and getting over it, but uh, a lot of our citizens are not making it. So uh, something to think about and uh, as best you can though, protect your family until uh, a remedy is found that's uh, <coughs> safe for all of us. And uh, obviously when you're outdoors and uh, everything uh, and safe distance and you might not um, have to think as much about your mask, but if you go to a store and go inside with people, be aware, and folks are really anxious now, so wear your mask. We don't have them on here at this meeting tonight, but uh, we're, um, none of us are sick, and we're uh, doing just fine tonight, but uh, when we're in public places, believe me, we, we're aware that folks want us to wear a mask, and we do that. Our newspaper man came in tonight with his mask on, and we appreciate that. And uh, he's very aware of. He's already experienced the COVID virus and knows exactly what it can do for you. So uh, there's a lot to be said for the COVID. <clears throat> Most of it's not pleasant. Uh, Gonna just have a, a, a invocation and. and uh, uh, Pledge of Allegiance before we start a meeting, and we'll move on into the meeting just as shortly. Let's stand. Our Father in heaven, we pause to give you thanks for this beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for the help that you've given us through this COVID virus uh, period, this pandemic that's been with us for most of a year now, Lord, and has taken lives, made others very sick, we hope that it soon ends, and we trust that it's in your hands to control our fate. We know that, uh, Lord, that uh, your hand can stop it immediately. We never doubt that. But help the scientists and the, the people that are working on this to come through for us. And we ask that you bless our meeting tonight, bless as we gather to conduct business from time to time that involves our city. Help us to grow in unity within our community and help us all to be recognized uh, that we would be a community of complete fairness to all people that live here. Lord, I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the way of business tonight, item one would be a recommendation to approve the minutes of the December 21st, 2020 council meeting. And we'd need a motion and second for that. I'll make the motion. Ross made the motion. I'll second. Well, Scott made the second. All those in favor of approving our minutes, thank you. Uh, the second item is a recommendation to approve our accounts payable bills for December 2020. And we need a motion. Matt made the motion. We need a second. I'll second. 
Ross made a second. All those in favor of paying our current bills? Mayor, I need to stand on just mine. I have okay. one bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can pay off. Put it on Please note that in the minutes. Okay. I have just one small bill. In. Thank you for bringing that up, Wade. We appreciate the work you do for us. Anyway. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, and thirdly, we'll need to uh, recommend a change of the date for our next council meeting, which is Tuesday, which is Monday, January the 18th. And that would be a holiday in the observance of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert E. Lee holiday. So we'll need to uh, make a motion to move our meeting, hopefully to the 19th, if that's agreeable with the council. I'll make that motion. Got a motion, we'll need a second. I'll second. Scott made a second. All those in favor of moving our meeting date. Uh, we will be having our workshops uh, changed to Tuesday from going forward. All of our work sessions will be on Tuesdays now prior to our following Monday night meeting. So I believe the 12th uh, will be our next workshop. That will be on Tuesday, I believe. And we're going to be meeting 4 o'clock. And we'll try to get you an agenda out so you'll know what's on the, on the workshop agenda. And if you want to add something to that agenda, please let Angela know and she'll put it in the agenda for you. Scott, do you have anything for the council tonight? No, sir. Okay. Angela, did you have anything you need to no, bring up tonight? No, There's no further business and we'll need a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll make the motion. Scott made a motion. We need a Ross second. All those in favor? Thank you. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com backslash 49 County News TV.